Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is how to be rejection proof. When you enter into the dating world, into the dating game, very soon you will have to deal with some form of rejection at least. This happens almost instantly, right? You go to a girl, you start chatting and she looks away and she really doesn't want to interact with you. Okay, this can happen anytime and this is fine. There is no problem. Now, depending on the way you handle rejection, you will have a good time in the dating life or you will have a terrible time. And to be rejection proof, to be able to deal with rejection, you need to come up with a set of strategies which, is, which are really going to protect you. Okay? The first strategy is to come prepared. Rejection can happen anytime. If you put the stakes too high, if you expect too much, of course you are going to get hurt. So when you approach a woman, you invest yourself emotionally in, in, the, in the right measure. You invest very little actually. You don't expect much. So when you go and start a conversation, it's not like you are, you are expecting the world from, from it. So investing exactly the right amount of energy is one of the first keys. The second key is to have lots of options. If you just, have, if you just met one girl in the last three months, and uh, she says no, of course your world is going to come crashing down. It's going to be terrible. And <laughs> you are going to feel bad for a while. So the goal is very simple. You need to have lots of options. And when you are in these initial stages of, uh, of your dating life, you need to interact with as many women as you can in all sorts of contexts, all sorts of situations. Even women you are, you are not really attracted to, even women you would maybe not date, it is still very interesting and very nice to simply flirt, to be casually interacting with uh, as many women as you can just to practice your dating skills. Uh, if you are ready, then when the situation arises to actually establish something a bit deeper with one of these women, then uh, you, know, you are going to, to be ready. But to come back to the idea of how to be rejection proof, you really need to come into the dating world and realizing that hey, it's a little bit of a battle of energies. Yes, it is a challenging environment. Sometimes a woman is going to say something which is going to be extremely nasty. It's going to be an attack which is absolutely not justified. Okay? And when this happens, what you want is to have your shields ready. You want to be able to look at what she said and rather than take it, taking it in and letting it grow inside and making babies out of, you know, out of a negative thought, you have to be able to kick it out. If she says, hey, you jerk, you know, get out of my way, uh, you know, you can rather take it in and feel really offended by what she said or just, you know, have a look at it and you say, what the heck, it doesn't matter, you know, it's just somebody's emotion, it's not my problem, okay? So if you are ready, if you come to the dating world with a set of strategies that you can apply, then you are going to be much better off and be able to grow your skills much faster. The risk with rejection is that it sends you back and you refuse to take action again after that. So my advice is very simple. You are going to be facing rejection. That's for sure. It's going to happen in one way or another. If you let it hurt you or if you let it turn you down, you might lose all opportunities forever. You must not let it happen. Uh, uh, a rejection is a certain form of attack on your confidence, on your power. And if you want to stay focused, if you want to win at the dating game and uh, eventually find somebody, you know, a woman you are attracted to, uh, with who that you can date, uh, with who you can spend uh, the rest of your life, who knows? Um, it's very important that you don't let rejection stop you, okay? The dating world is a challenging environment. It can be extremely aggressive at times. And, um, you know, if you feel you have been attacked, uh, challenged, rejected in any way, you need to be able to get over it like that, you know, one minute. That's the maximum you give yourself, uh, you know, you take off, you go out, and you come back, and that's it. You don't let rejection stop you ever, okay? That's the advice for today. You take care, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.